The P13 IC chip plays a pivotal role in managing the audio and visual functions of your Nintendo Switch. The problem arose when an incompatible charger was mistakenly connected to the port. In response to this error, the port underwent replacement due to damage to its pins. Unfortunately, this also resulted in the burnout of the P13 IC chip, evident from its visible damage. If you've replaced the port and are still experiencing a lack of power or signal, a crucial step is to examine the capacitor. If you detect a short on both sides of the capacitor, it could indicate a potential issue, possibly necessitating the replacement of the IC chip. This diagnostic step is crucial in troubleshooting and determining the root cause of the power and signal problems in your system. Furthermore, there is an issue with a busted track that requires fixing. Now, what's a busted track, you ask? Well, it's like a little highway for electrons on the circuit board, and when it's broken, it's like a roadblock for those little fellas. So, we need to carefully trace the path of that track and patch it up. It's like performing surgery on your device. But don't worry, I've done this a few times. We must ensure a secure grip on the track to prevent it from shifting or becoming displaced. Now, while we're at it, let's talk about one of the most common culprits for power going haywire, the charging port. Sometimes those ports can get a real battering and when they do, they can short circuit a chip like this. You see, the pins inside the port decide to have a little electric smooch and that can end up frying things. Repairing the track proves to be a challenging task, given its tiny size. When you're facing obstacles, the key to success lies in determination. Trim the copper trace, and now let's proceed to install the new IC. Now, a quick hot air rework station is a nifty piece of kit. It's like a precision tool that lets us control the heat with finesse. We can direct a stream of hot air onto that IC chip and the surrounding area. This gentle heat melts the solder and allows us to easily remove and reattach the chip without causing any harm. Flux is essential in soldering as it performs two key functions. Firstly, it helps remove oxides from the surfaces to be soldered, ensuring a clean and receptive surface for bonding. Oxides can hinder solder adhesion, and by addressing this, flux promotes better bonding. Secondly, flux promotes wetting, enhancing the molten solder's ability to spread evenly and adhere effectively to the joined surfaces, resulting in stronger and more reliable bonds. We have to be careful here not to accidentally blow the components off the board. By applying brief bursts of heat, the solder will liquefy at approximately 220 degrees Celsius. In the realm of repairs, our efforts are marked by a commitment to troubleshooting and fixing issues. It's a reality that not every endeavour goes precisely according to plan. Repair professionals often dedicate substantial time to the meticulous task of resolving challenges inherent in restoring devices. Just slap a bit of flux and a dab of solder on this little filter. If this track is still in place after a, a good scrub, we are ready to test. Currently off camera, I'm rectifying a solder bridge that was inadvertently created. IPA plays a vital role in electronics 
serving as a powerful solvent for cleaning components and removing contaminants. Its quick evaporation makes it ideal for decontaminating devices exposed to liquids, preventing issues like short circuits. It's a go-to for tasks such as flux residue removal during soldering and enhancing conductivity by cleaning connectors. Remember to follow safety precautions, including turning off devices before cleaning and allowing sufficient time for complete alcohol evaporation. When connecting the LCD screen, it's crucial to ensure that the cable is perfectly flat during insertion. Otherwise, there's a risk of damaging the pins inside the clip. This is the point where we cross our fingers and hope for the best. Great signs of life. If you like our video and found it helpful, be a mate and give us a thumbs up. And if you're feeling extra adventurous, hit that subscribe button. We've got plenty more tech tips and tricks to share with you. So, there you have it. Fixing a knackered P13 IC chip and giving your device a new lease on life. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.